I got I got really intrigued by the idea of games, especially games, because Allah Azza wa Jal in in a couple of places describes worldly life as a game. And namal hayatul dunya la'ibun. Right? He describes worldly life as a game. So I got really curious. Why does Allah call it a game? And what is the psychology of gaming anyway? Why are people so attracted to sports and games? You know, the thing is, for a lot of psychologists, life itself is like a game, but it's an unfair game. We're not talking as Muslims. We're talking just as from the outside perspective. It's an unfair game. In other words, you work hard. The formula should be you work hard, you try hard, you'll succeed. Does that always work? No. Some people work four times as hard, but because of the color of their skin, they don't get the job. That's a reality. Other people don't work hard at all and they get everything. The game of life seems to be unfair. But when you go on a football field, when you stand with a you know, paddle in your hand, you're playing table tennis, then the more skill you have will get you the results. It's no longer about luck of the draw. It's no longer a genetic advantage or disadvantage. It's no outside factors. It's a very simple thing. There's, if you're good at it, you'll win. And the better you get, the more chances you'll win. When somebody plays a video game, the parameters are set. Beat this boss, beat this time, beat this record, and you can win. Guaranteed results. What a game does is it gives you guaranteed results. Are there guaranteed results in life? No. When people, when, especially when young people, don't see results in life, they resort to games where they are guaranteed to see results. And they start getting addicted to this. You know, you have these, these kids that don't do homework, don't study, don't go to school, skip on exams. They're just complete, you could call them utter losers. But when they play like Warcraft or when they play like Modern Warfare, or when they're playing those games, these are like, they're like Salah al-Din, man. You can't mess with them. They are so competitive. They're so competitive. They will destroy you. Nobody can even touch them. That entire mean competitive spirit that was supposed to be used in life. They took all of that energy and put it in a game or a video game or something else. They channeled that energy in the wrong direction. This is ilha. Allah gave us that competitive spirit. We have tanafas, even in iman. We're supposed to be competitive by nature. You cannot succeed in business if you're not competitive. You can't succeed in academics if you're not competitive. But ilha is when you take that energy and you put it in the wrong place. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.